Welcome to God Seeker. This is Elizabeth Fulgaro. The current message, without. It was my favorite part of the day, the pre dawn quiet, where I get to be alone with you, Lord. Cool air wafted in the open window from outside. The air was not cold, but cool in a nighttime way, but also in a way which accompanies spring. On my mind this particular morning, Lord, how would this world be without you in it? What would the difference be? At its highest ultimate level, there would be no world, no universe, no life. For as St. Paul says, in you, Lord, we live, move, and have our being. As St. John says in his gospel, without you nothing was made that has been made. Without your presence, Lord God, without the unceasing, always present nature of your love, there would be no life. So the question, what would this world be without you, is not one which is correctly phrased, because the love which you are is life's source. The truth is, even in my life, there is no way to be fully without you, Lord God for you are everywhere at all times. The natural finding its basis coming out of the supernatural spiritual, thus the spiritual ever-present in the midst of the natural, giving life force to it. Since you are always there, it's never like you are not there. But what would my life be like without your presence in the way I have come to experience it? For there is a definite difference between your presence in creation, where you are still there, and your presence in me, which began to increase when I committed myself to a relationship with you, where I am a follower. Do I even have adequate words to try to express all this? Are there adequate words? What would my life be like without this relationship to you? What was it like before I knew you wanted time in relationship with me? Before I knew it was personal? Before I was aware that you are not just this faraway superior being in the sky who oversees all and scrutinizes, but you are transcendent, and this so far beyond what I can understand to reach and put into simple sufficient words, while simultaneously you are here for me personally also in a way which goes beyond what my human language can express. You are ever there calling, waiting, helping, and calling again to see if I will turn and unite my heart with yours. You are ever with me and now in me as I go through every day, for your spirit is there. Ever closer, your love never ceasing, your heart also grieving when I choose to look away. There is a rhythm with which you made all creation. It is a rhythm from your heartbeat of love. It is connection with you which spills out in love for each other, practically, naturally. Without you, I have my own goals, my own way. I have figured it out. Or I have that responsibility. Without you, I have to figure out what's important. I have to find a purpose and meaning for life. I have to decide what's true for me. I have to decide my goals to a good life and how to be the kind of person I can live with according to standards I set for myself. But with you, that all changed. I don't have to be the adult as much as to become your child. And then my job becomes to gaze at you and simply seek to worship you Pray, listen, and obey. With you, I can have inner rest even in the midst of turmoil, inner peace in the midst of every storm, for you are always with me. And sometimes, as your special gift, you let me sense it. Any true understanding of life comes through you and by you. Jesus is the light, my example. You show me what life your way looks like. It resets my expectations. 
no longer looking for life to become some sort of perfect according to my own standards, but instead to be aligned with yours, which are not of this world, but infinitely better and beyond it. All life is in you. Thank you. Let's finish with some words King David wrote in a song called a psalm centuries before Jesus. Psalm 9, verses 1 and 2. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth, recount, and tell aloud all your marvelous works and wonderful deeds. I will rejoice in you and be in high spirits. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Listen to the song Most High on the Resurrection Joy album. You can find the song Most High on my YouTube channel, various streaming services, and always on CD. Thank you for joining in. God Seeker messages are brought to you by Eagle's Nest Foundation. This is Elizabeth Fulgaro. I am praying for you. Until next time. Make the song Most High your prayer, and keep seeking God.